This meeting is being live streamed. Got it. <laughs> We're being live streamed on um, Facebook at the moment. Hi, everyone. Welcome once again to Hey Home Cooking. Hi, everyone. Good to see all of you here. Um, we're not certain who among you are with us today, but welcome once again, Dawn and um, Tawanda. And I know um, the other person that's cooking with us today is Iggy, but I was wondering if he will join us over Zoom rather than just on Facebook. Because last week he did cook with us apparently, but um, he just kind of got, he kind of like followed us um, through the whole thing on Facebook. All right. But in case you're wondering, what is this all about? This is a cooking class that we hold every Sunday, but the whole format is that we have people that are actually cooking along, all right? So we send the ingredient lists about a couple or three days prior, and then um, they grab their ingredients and then they cook with us simultaneously, okay? So yes. that's the difference. And I kid you not, it's a lot of fun. And um, if you haven't tried it yet, it's actually an easier way of learning new recipes. <laughs> right. Plus, it's instant gratification, right? Because right after you cook with us, then you eat your meal. <laughs> so, yeah. So, welcome, and, everybody. Uh, um, hey stands for healthy, easy, yummy. Right after you cook with us. Then and uh, as you can see from our aprons, so welcome, everybody. Uh, we are celebrating 75 years. Uh, we are using the wonderful Salad Master Cookware. So if you are an owner or if you're a prospective owner, this is a great, this is a great class to help you learn new recipes and cook along with us and enjoy the same mm -hmm. food that we enjoy as a family. Right. So it's not just about the recipes, you all. Um, while we are trying to share really simple dishes, we actually try to show you how we convert, right? Because with Solid Master, you do things a little bit differently um, if you really want to learn how to do things differently in a faster, easier manner, okay? That's the key because why would you want to change the way you cook? <laughs> what, what will be in it for you? What will be the advantages? Well, I just said it, it can be easier and then it's really yummy, even though it's fast and it's healthy, okay? That's why it's, hey, healthy, easy, yummy. All right. Um, let's just jump on right in. Hi, hi, Laura. Thanks so much for coming once again. Hi, Tita Becky. Are you cooking with us? Why are you not on Zoom? Or are you just watching? Um, I was supposed to have some things today for all of you who are watching. Please try to stay the whole time because I have a little bit of a surprise for all of you. But here we go. Today, we are actually doing ribeye steak. I'm waiting in the lobby. And uh, mashed potatoes from scratch with some broccoli. And I'm going to show you how we will do all of these three things simultaneously in about 30 to 45 minutes um, for real. Tita Becky, um, I'm not sure. I think Iggy is in the wrong room. Iggy, you're probably not in the right one place. Um, it's, on, it's on WhatsApp, the most recent one. People get lost everybody i'm so sorry i have to every week i find myself having to send them the the link um yeah. for those people who are not used to it um tita becky are you going to cook with us do i have to wait for you please let me know iggy um i'm actually we're sending it right now to your cell phone we're sending it to you the actual so link okay on that to get into the zoom link all right so steak, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. So the very first thing we have to do, grab your EOC, please. This is our electric skillet. And um, preheat it to 450 degrees, all right? EOC, please crank it up all the way to 450 degrees. Here we go. That's what we're doing with our probe. And while we're preheating, Dawn, you're good. Did you hear that? There you go. Somebody just got in. <laughs> That's Iggy. Hi, Iggy. Preheat your EOC to 450 degrees. Now, what are we using? Our ingredients will be, we do have four cuts of one inch thick ribeyes. 
about eight ounces each. Um, some of our cuts are a little bit over eight ounces. Some of them are close to 10, that's okay. But we have four different cuts. You can um, actually do as much as six, eight ounce cuts on this one, one batch, okay? And then what else do we need? The only thing we're going to use for our steak will be your Montreal grill steak seasoning. Pretty easy. I have other rubs that I use, but for today, let's use this because this is easily um, available in different stores, right? So we're going to need about four to five teaspoonfuls of this, depending on your taste, your preference. And then we have garlic salt that we are actually going to use for our mashed potatoes. How much of it? Again, this is going to be according to your taste preference, about two teaspoons to three, okay? And then we have three medium-ish and a, a little bit bigger sized golden potato, gold potatoes. And here, honey. I actually ended up getting cottage cheese instead of sour cream, okay? I'm going to use cottage cheese for our mashed potatoes. And then last but not the least, we have not, this is not the last, the oyster sauce. We're gonna need only about a tablespoonful of that and some broccoli florets. Ours are still our like heads because he's going to cut it up while we're doing this. All right, did you get all of that? And um, for garnishing optional in the end, at the end, it's going to be green onions or parsley. Doesn't have to be fresh. It can be dried parsley. I do have some dried parsley today. That's what I'm going to use. Okay, perfect. Hello, everybody. So, Tita Becky, I'm not sure. Are you going to cook with us or not? No, I'm guessing not because um, you haven't answered. All right. So, we're preheating this to 450. Now, in a separate container with your four, your, your four cuts of um, steak, Here's what I need all of us to do. For each piece, if you want to measure it, this will be a good way of measuring it. About a teaspoonful of your seasoning. For one piece of an eight ounce ribeye, front and back, okay? Do you see how I'm doing this? Typically, to be honest, I don't even measure this, but just so we can have like a good starting point for you all. A teaspoonful for each piece. You rub it front and back, okay? For each piece while we're preheating our skillet. A teaspoonful. Now it's up to you to add a little bit more if you feel like you want it to be so much more flavorful or a little bit more salty. A one teaspoon for one cut is actually, um, I feel like that's just enough. It's perfect, not too much not bland, all right? So rubbing it in. Sometimes what I do is um, I actually put all of these cuts in a Ziploc ba bag, um, like a gallon, like a freezer bag. Um, and then I toss everything in there. You can do that too. But I kind of like, I feel like it's always more even when I'm able to rub it in one at a time. <laughs> It may be psychological, but I don't know. Here we go. All right, I've done our florets. Oh, that was fast. They're, they're big chunks of florets too. Hey you guys okay? Have you done your rubbing? And then I'm just gonna add about half a teaspoon more and just gonna sprinkle it all over. And there you go. Okay, perfect. Here's our four pieces of ribeye, about an inch thick. Completely seasoned with our grill steak seasoning, okay, mix. There you go. Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming today to join us. So a lot of kids are going back to school this week, huh? I'm thinking a lot of parents are probably in the store grabbing their um, last minute grocery stuff for kids back to school things. Yes? And kids are going back to school as well within a couple of weeks. Our son goes back this week and the girl goes back next week. All right, so when your EOC is completely preheated, how do you know the blinking red light is gone or when you get some water 
will run like beef, right, Penny? Um, you want to help? Sure. <laughs> I'm not ready with my water. Over oh, here, I can grab it here. <laughs> he got it from the freezer. Ours is running and it's ready. Are yours ready? So to wind up, our EOC, we're preheating for to 450. All right. And then we use a teaspoon full of the grilled steak seasoning. Hi, boom. Thanks for dropping by. And we're using the, the Montreal grilled steak seasoning of one teaspoon for each piece. And you rub it front and back. Okay. Done. Is your EOC good? You're ready? All right, perfect. So when your EOC is ready and it's been preheated well to 450, all we do is look here, flat your steak pieces. No, nothing else, Not, no butter, no nothing. That's your meat and EOC. Ta-da! And then what do we do? We close it completely and honey, please do the timer five minutes okay the way that we do steak with the eoc is so easy the way that i learned it and that it was taught to me by um by bing by my friend bing manzano this is the magic um number combination you have to remember it's like a sardines brand in the philippines five 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 okay so five minutes of cooking or baking actually our rib eye cuts in the EOC for five minutes with the lid completely closed, Iggy, five minutes. Okay, so this is the first five. So we're timing it. We leave it at 450? Yes. Okay. There you go. I need to wash my hands. I need to Okay, I want to say hi to those who have joined us uh, through Facebook Live. Thank you. Um, we are really doing a quick version of steak, but it's going to come out perfect um, where it's uh, medium. Okay, so you can adjust the time accordingly if you want it to be a little bit uh, more red. All right. So 555 five, five will turn out as medium. It's not well done. Well, I'll explain it to you one step at a time, okay? Now, while we're doing this for five minutes, Dawn, Iggy, if you're doing the mashed potatoes, we're using our three-quart covered um, saucepan for that with a basket, okay? You all have the basket, don't you? Yes, Iggy? You don't have this? Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do with your mashed potatoes. What do you have? I have the uh yeah you can do that all right i'm going to teach it to you differently but don if you have the basket what we're going to do is we're going to first add some water to this one to one and don you have this with the basket add some water to it about close to an inch high all right there you go close to an inch high We'll just get that ready. You just get that ready. We're not preheating or anything. We're just putting the water in there. And grab your basket while we're waiting for our steak. And you can put it on there, honey. Good. On your basket, we are going to string our potatoes directly into the basket. Make sense? Yes? Cone number two. For our potatoes. Cone number two. We are not preheating. The pan, the covered pan with water, okay? It just stays there. We're just gonna cut up our potatoes while we're waiting on the steak. So again, we just pre-wash this completely well. Skid on, okay? If you wanna know why we do that, please let me do a full-blown presentation for you so you can understand a lot of the things or the ways that we cook. There's a reason behind it, okay? It's more Hi, than Narisa. just a preference for whatever. Hi, Narisa. Thanks for dropping by. Here we go. Ta-da. Gone. All right. So 
I'm gonna do all three. You can talk to them while I'm doing this, honey, because you don't like doing this anyway. So there you go. Okay. You going? guys, I don't like um, mashed potato by nature. I used to not order this at all. So I don't like the prepackaged um, powdered ones. I don't like its taste as much. But since I learned how to do this really fast, this thing is amazing. I gotta, I gotta admit, now I've become a potato fan. Okay, James. So oh, hi, James. Thank Hello. you for joining us. Which James? Uh, this is Mr. James. Mr. James Williams. Hi. Hi, Mr. James. We're making some steak. Yummy. Here we go. Do you see how fast this is? Going? If you're just using a regular, using using a regular a bowl, bowl to make them, I don't even want to do it. <laughs> Look, Ta -da! done. Are you done, T? Okay. And then what do we do? Without anything, all we're gonna do is put this on top of the covered saucepan right here, with the water underneath. Clean the top. All right. And then we will put this on medium heat, okay? On our stove top, only medium heat. And we'll wait for the bulb to click and lower it afterwards, all right? So very easy now, EG. If you're done stringing your potatoes. Okay, our five minute is up. So we're gonna ship to the, to the steak. All right, now steak. After five minutes of it completely covered, what do you do next? Nothing. All you have to do is put the cover back and then open it. Open it about an inch of um, a jar. Does that make sense? So it's not actually first. open with just about an inch uh, gap. Right. Now, what do you do? Five more minutes. On that side, you did not touch it, you did not clip it, still at 450. The difference okay. is for the next five minutes, you have it ajar, your lid. Okay, so that's the second five in the combination of three fives, five, 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 right? Do you see, okay. do you see that, Iggy? Yeah. So we... at 450, after five minutes, we just opened the lid. Now it's ajar for the next five minutes is again, okay? So what it's going to do, it's going to sear now that side. The first five minutes was to bake it. Mm -hmm. The next five minutes is to sear it. On that side, on that one side. side. Mm -hmm. Right. And then when we flip it to the other side, we're going to do another five minutes at 450. That's when you can start um, changing your timing, depending on how you want your steak. My husband likes it medium well or red. Medium well. Medium well. So we're going to take out his at around three minutes, to be honest. That's how he likes it. Okay. When we flip it afterwards. For the rest of us, because we like it medium well, we are going to go full blown five, five, five. So if you want it a little bit more rare, EG, then you don't go full blown five on this next one. Just do four, flip it at once, and then just do four or three minutes. If you want it a little pink on the inside, make sense? Okay. Yes. Perfect. So okay, that's so, all you need to know. So what, go ahead, Iggy, did you have a question? Yeah, so if, if I do want it medium, then how long do I wait? If you want it medium, medium, just go five, five, four. Okay. Five, five, four, because if it's just an inch thick, yeah, okay. you can get away with that. If your steak is a little bit thicker than inch, then you might want to push it to five, five, five. So it always depends on how thick your cuts are. Okay. Yeah, Iggy, yeah. why don't you check it at four minutes, the four minute mark, and then you can probably flip it already. Yeah. Yeah. And then just get your um, cutlery or your knife, steak knife, and then just try to just do a very thin um, cut on, in the middle. Check it out. Don, you're good. Okay. okay. So for everybody's um, sake, again, as far as steak with the EOC is concerned, that's all you have to remember. Five, five, five. The first five completely covered minutes, okay? After the first five minutes completely covered, you simply open it 
crank it a little bit for the next five minutes. And then after that, you flip on the other side, five more minutes, a jar again. So five covered, five a jar, on the other side, five a jar. And then you just play with the last two numbers or the third number to get the exact um, tenderness you want. All right? Okay. Hi, Aaron. Hey. Hi, Tina. Thanks for joining us. Hello. I had a, I had a question, Marvy. Um, did we do anything with the potatoes yet? Other yes. than we shot them? the potatoes and we placed it. Oh, because you were not there, Don. To grab your three quart with a basket, and then put some water in the three quart about an yeah. inch, um, um, high. Yeah, I heard. And then we strung our potatoes with number two, cone number two, straight into the basket. And now it's on top at medium heat. Medium, okay. All right, medium heat, yes. Now, <laughs> Iggy, your potatoes, here we go. You have your potatoes in the back, in the nine, nine inch, right? Grab some milk, whatever you have. Do you have milk? Yes. Yes, please put about um, one fourth cup of milk in it. He's going to do it a little bit differently because he doesn't have the basket, which is great, though, because now I can show you and I can tell you exactly what to do. So, he gave one fourth, one third cup of your milk. Mr. James, how are you? Thank you for joining us through Zoom. Hello. Hi, Christina. Thanks for dropping by. We're making some steak. It smells so good. Okay. okay, and then put it on medium heat on your stove top. Completely covered. So we're we're kind of like baking your potatoes on the stove top. Then you just wait for the vapor bulb to start cooking as all as always. There you go. Okay. All right. Five minutes is up. We're flipping it on the other side for us. We're done. Okay, flipping it, honey. Look at this. Can you start the five minute mark? Look, ta -da. So I just flipped it for our last five minutes. Look at how beautifully seared that is. Now, the first one is going to be three minutes for you. Let's um, it here. Yeah. It's okay. So this is where, uh, since our family has different preferences, I like it between medium and medium well. So I'm just going to do three minutes on the last side. So mine is five, five, three. Okay. Marvy and my kids will have it at five, 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 since they want it between medium, well, medium well, basically. Mm -hmm, um, or well done. Or mm -hmm. sometimes in between medium well and well done. Exactly. But it's so easy. Like, can you imagine if you came home from work? Right, and you have to come up with a, a really tasty meal for everybody. It just takes about 15 minutes and you're done. Yeah, I used to be so intimidated um, by making and with making like steaks like this. Not anymore. I can do it pretty fast. I have to say, sorry, well. guys, because the camera I set up where my head is cut off. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Okay, do you have any questions, people? Please feel free to send us a note, or you may ask it live if you're with us live. There you go. Machine is clean. All right. I can smell the steak. It smells so good in here. So I'm not sure if um did Tita Becky ever answer me if she's cooking with us? I'm not sure. What happened there, honey? Nothing. Ah, it's not even done yet, right? Okay. So all together, I don't know if you know, but. The amount of ingredients that we have for this is only seven for all three.
She's a Becky's asking, it's not a revival. The time change a little bit depending on the cup. Uh, yes, Tita Becky, it definitely depends on the cup. So we are just using ribeye. It happens to be an inch thick, and that's what applies for the 555. Now, if you're using uh, New York strip or um, you know uh, round steak, again, it will depend on the thickness. If it's one inch, the same timing applies, okay? So it depends on the, the thickness of the cut more than the type of uh, meat. Yes. So anyway, um. I want to call on everybody who's watching us right now. I'm not sure who you are. You probably are going to see this on replay for some of you. But hey, whether you're a solid master owner or not, we would love for you to come join us on Sundays and cook along. Okay, this is what's different about our cooking class. We encourage people to cook with us. So here we go. My husband's piece is coming up. This is his. This is how he likes it. Five, five, three, and he's gonna show you what it looks like inside. Okay. Okay. So obviously, this is the five-minute portion, and the other side is the three-minute portion. Okay. And we're gonna see what it looks like inside. There you go. Let me just push it a little bit so you can see. He's gonna show you what it looks like inside with a five, five, three. Hi, Sadie. We're making some steak ribeye. Look at how perfect this is. Go ahead. Okay. Medium well. So that's what that? it looks like. Not You'll quite see, pink, but not quite brown. It's not pink, but it's not dark brown. It's light in between brown and pink. Sorry. Okay. My time is almost done for the next one. Ours is done too. So I'm going to turn this off completely. Done. Ours is done. We're getting our steak. Here we go. Excuse me, honey. He's already eating his steak. <laughs> really fast. See? I'm going to lift everything up now. Look. It's very juicy. Our awesome. steak is done. Did you see how fast and easy that was? I turned off our AOC here. And this is for the rest of our family because we want it this way. Iggy, did yours turn out good? No, there, look. There you go. I wanna, Iggy, we're going to shift camera to show yours, okay? All okay. Right. Before we head on to the next one. So I turned up my AOC completely at this point. Just a minute, Iggy. Okay. We're going to spotlight you really quick. Replace spotlight. Okay, there goes, Iggy. So wow. Okay, you want to you wanna see how it's like? Yeah, can you cut one cut? and then show what, what it looks like, like inside? And you're, you're in a spotlight, by the way, so everybody can okay. see your steak. Your screen is what we see. Everybody can see your dinner for tonight. <laughs> okay? How do you like it? It's good. I like it. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Looks like really juicy. Enjoy. You, yeah. now you know how to do your steak in your EOC. Now, I turn off our EOC because it's at a very high temperature. You see this? I'm letting all the heat come out a little bit and then i'm getting ready done while well, i'm waiting for my potatoes still the bulb hasn't quit what we're gonna do next is here all our florets now you have a choice to remove the the oil that you got from the ribeye pieces right the cuts but i am choosing not to remove it because we like that <laughs> we like a little bit of the fat um, the oil from the ribeye cuts. So all I'm going to do is transfer our florets. Here we go. My AOC is off, okay? It's turned off because it's um, at a high temperature earlier. And with solid matter, we always stop, try to teach you when you're cooking vegetables, we don't use high heat, okay? We only use medium heat, so right here. I'm going to make sure it covers everything. There you go. And then your oyster sauce, please get like a small bowl. And then in a small bowl, what we need to do is just mix the one tablespoon full of oyster sauce. Or you can go a little bit lower, two tablespoons, two teaspoonfuls rather. So our two thirds of your 
oyster sauce and a little bit of water, like a tablespoon full. I'm going to grab some water. Hi, Jason. I haven't seen you in a long time. Hi, Sadie. Jason. Thank you. Jason, we just made steak, Jason. And it's, Jason, um, Jason? We just used this particular cookware. And in 15 minutes, we were done with our steak. Hi. Um, medium. Hi, Jason. That's how we did it. So Dawn, Iggy, and Tawanda, look, I just made a very um, little amount of paste with water and the oyster sauce. About two teaspoonfuls of oyster sauce and a, tea a tablespoonful of water. And I'll simply, together with all the drippings from our steak from earlier, just around. And then we're going to cover this again. Here you go, Dawn. Hi, Lani. And for do the this. temperature to 325. Bring it up to 325. That's it. Then you're probably asking, how do I know it's cooked, Marby? As soon as the valve starts clicking rapidly, we're going to turn it off. That's how fast. Now here, did you notice this? The valve is also clicking. If your valve is clicking in your potatoes, Iggy, Don, and Tawanda, now we have to lower this, lower the temperature to medium low, simmer, and do it for like, five to seven minutes, depending on how you like your potato. Um, some people like us, we kind of like a little bit of a texture, right? To our mashed potatoes. So we're just gonna do five, okay? If you don't want it completely mushy, <laughs> okay? So we're doing ours for five on medium low. It's actually simmer. We want this to stop clicking. There you go. Okay. Uh... Again, hi, Lani. I'm not sure if it's Lani or Edgar who's watching us, but thank you for joining us. Uh, we just made steak, and now we're doing our broccoli florets, and then uh, waiting for our mashed potatoes to be done. Biggie, yes. any questions? You good? No, I'm good. Uh, my my uh, AOC is clicking. Do I bring down the heat? Your EOC is clicking now with the broccoli? Yes. Oh, okay. So when your EOC is clicking with the broccoli and it's rapid, Turn it off completely and just leave it there. Depending on how you want your vegetables, just leave it covered for like five minutes. And it's going to get tender, yeah. but not overcooked. Make sense? It will get cooked because it, remember, we started at 450. Mm -hmm. So that was really high. It's still high. Yes. How about Ours you, Don? Yet clicking right. How, how did your steak turn out, Don? Yummy. Yummy? Okay. I'm was it like. It. Is it You're medium? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Great. Great. Awesome. See, it's easy to remember, right? The numbers to play with will always be five, five, five. Keep the first five minutes covered completely, baking it, and then just play with the second and the third number depending on how you like your steak. Yeah. Make sense? Awesome. Straight through at four fifty. Perfect. Yeah. Sometimes we do our mashed potatoes ahead of time, actually, because uh, the steak takes really is really fast. But look, it's five thirty three. And we're almost done, oh, right? Slani and Edgar, thank you guys. <laughs> so Iggy, when your bulb in your mashed potato starts clicking rapidly, turn it into medium low and wait for like, cook it further for like five to seven minutes, depending on how you want your mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. Cool. All yeah. right, so yeah. hey, here, I wanna make an announcement. I really wanna encourage as many of you who are watching us, who happens to know what we're doing, um, please come join us on Sundays at five o'clock because this is such a fun way to spend Sunday evenings. Would you rather go out and eat out? You know, it takes about an hour to actually figure out where you want to go, who do you want to deliver to you, what kind of food, and then you wait. It takes about a good hour. And then or, you need to prepare yourself and then, you know. Yeah. Or that. you can cook with us <laughs> within an hour you will have such good food um, that is better than restaurant food. And you can wear anything because we don't have to show you on camera. Right. <laughs> so do this for next week because next week, um, Connie, I'm not sure if Connie is able to watch us today, but we are finally going to make um, the japchae. What is japchae? The Korean noodles that's made with sweet potato noodles, right? So that's pretty good. It's not... Um, 
as a starchy as your regular um, stuff. And it's gluten-free because it's from sweet potatoes, right? So we're going to do japchae on Sunday next week. It is going to be yummy. So if you want another good dinner, please come join us on Sunday, all right? Who else is here today? So is there anything else now? How many more minutes for this one, honey? It's about two more minutes. Just two more minutes on her potatoes. This one I think is done. Yep, I'm turning it off and we're just leaving it there. All right. My daughter is helping us. Thank you, Francesca. I'm so tempted. I'm gonna eat some steak. Because it's it's kind of like staring at staring at me. Here we go. <laughs> Do you see this? My husband already got a piece earlier. Yeah. Yeah. If you cover it with foil, it's it always gonna, it always turns out perfect. It's gonna cook a little bit more, so that's why we're just leaving it open. I know some people like to keep it warm, so they cover it with foil. But the thing is, then your meat is gonna continue to cook. Yeah. So if you want to do that, let's say. We prepare dinner early, but the guest or the family is not yet ready to eat. Maybe you can reduce the last five minutes. No, both the second and the third. The Go five, third. three, three. Push the, the heat. Yeah. You can even do five, three, three. Honestly, this is 11 minutes, right? But then if you cover it with foil, it will continue to cook and then it will still reach the consistency that you want mm -hmm. or the level of doneness that you want. All right, is it done? How many more minutes? We only have one more minute on our um, mashed potatoes. Um, how is Tawanda doing? Tawanda, are you able to catch up? Talk to me, please. I would love to walk you through whatever it is that you missed. Oh, it's not tea, it's Mr. James iPad. I guess that's tea, huh? I thought that was uh, James. <laughs> There you go. Oh, they're at Mr. James' place. Are you at Mr. James? Yeah, that's why. Hi. You're good? You're following along well? Perfect. Okay, I think this is done. All right. So here's our broccoli, and I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Oh, man, this is so good. See? It got done really Look at fast. This. Look how green it is. Look at how brown and seared. It kind of like looks like it was grilled, but it's not overcooked. Do you see this? Now, do, remember, do you see this? Ta -da! Remember, we have all the juices from our ribeye there, so mm -hmm. it's going to be very flavorful. But we didn't yes. have to use oil at all with ribeye, so that was just this natural mm -hmm. oil. With a little bit of our gluten-free, um, not it wasn't gluten-free, right? With our oyster, oyster soy sauce. sauce. No, it was oyster sauce. We did use gluten. -free. Okay, we did use gluten. -free. I don't even remember what I did. Oh man, it's perfect. Do you see this? Broccoli that's a little bit crunchy. Yum. Hi, Manuela. Hi, Manuela. I didn't you recognize really you with your, with your hair. Your hair looks different. There you go. All right, so now we want to show you the potatoes. Here we go, honey. Okay. Can we please put it in a bowl? This is what where our potatoes look like. Um, okay, we are going to move the, the pot. So now we have our potatoes. We let let we want to show you what it looks like. All right. Remember, this is a strainer that we're using. So this was all just steamed, really. Basket. Uh, yeah, this is the basket. Um, I know Iggy, you used a regular pot, but there's ours, and it has no water. Done. Look, this is the potato. Yeah. And then the thing with this is, you just use a fork, and you go through it and mush it further, or if you want with a little bit of like um, texture like we do, you don't have to do that at all. You can leave it as it is. So it looks like loose hush browns, right? <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do for our family. So honey, can we move everything? So I'm just moving everything. And what I'm gonna season it with is just a little bit of um, garlic salt. How much? Because I did three potatoes, I'm just gonna do like 
honestly, about half a teaspoon full. I don't want too much in it because our steak is already flavorful. Our broccoli is flavorful. I'm going to go easy on our um, mashed potatoes. So it really depends on your palate. I'm just going to do half a teaspoon full, okay? And I'm not using any, any um, cheese at all or butter. What I got is cottage, is cottage cheese. cheese. And for the rest of you who might have gotten sour cream, you can use your sour cream as well, okay? How much? For this much, I'm just gonna do about a fourth of a cup to start with. If you're trying to watch your calories or like Iggy's doing, you know, he does, um, he counts his macros. So it's really depending on what you can afford <laughs> with your diet or how much you want it to taste like. But I'm not kidding you guys when I say, when you do mashed potatoes from scratch and fresh like this, you don't need much stuff. It actually is really good. Okay, you don't need so much stuff in it. So here we go. I'm doing my cottage cheese and I'm doing one fourth of a cup. Honey, here we go. It's ready. I have to get a larger fork. All right, so that's all I have in our mashed potato. About a teaspoon full, a little bit less than a teaspoon full of garlic salt and one fourth cup of cottage cheese, okay? And you can use your sweet, your sour cream instead. If you want to do butter, oh, please go ahead and add butter. Some people, they like butter with their mashed potato. That's fine. Okay. So this is according to your palate. There you go. Yum. And like I said earlier, when we plate this, I'm just adding, I'm just going to um, add like a dash of dried parsley on top of it. Or if you got some green onions, just add some green onions on top of it when you serve it, Iggy, okay? okay? That's it, we're actually done, everybody. Here we go, we're gonna plate. That was less than 40 minutes, 45 minutes, right? And it's all done, correct? So where are you at, Iggy? We're, we wanna see what you have, okay? We're gonna go around and plate everything. Okay. We want to and same with Don. Uh, so uh, we're, yes, we're just Dawn gonna, I'm still mashing our potatoes. So you can mash it completely or not, up to you. Here we go. Honey. Yeah, yeah I'm not done. Okay, I am um I'm gonna grab some broccoli. Here we go. Here you go, boom. There's our ribeye, broccoli florets, and mashed potatoes fresh from scratch. Done within 40 minutes. A little less if I wasn't talking too much. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Penny? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna continue to mash this later, but for the sake of plating it, we're gonna use this too. Here, you wanna do it? Yeah. Ta-da! You can leave it there. The dinner is served, everybody. Yugi, are you ready? Here's yeah. our plate. I'm gonna take some photos. Adding they, a little they part went in a little bit later. On top. There you go. Okay, so here's our meal for tonight. See that? <laughs> Looks good. Looks good, people. There you go, honey. Picture. Hold up. There you go. John, ready? There's Iggy's honey. Do you want to pin Iggy, please? Okay. So we do this. It's customary. We want to go around and look at um, what our cook alongers came up with, right? Then we'll have them okay, there's try English. it. There you go. Manuela, have you tried it yet? Oh, we don't have the mashed potato yet. We just, yeah. Okay. okay. That's okay. No problem. Oh, a little bit higher, bro. There you go. There you go. Oh, awesome. I, I like the way you're staying. You see the smoke still coming out? You see that smoke? Yes. Yeah. Have you tried it? Have you tried the I, broccoli? 
I haven't tried the broccoli, but I just tried this. Please try it. Tell me what the what it's like, flavor wise. It's crunchy. It's good. I like it. I like it. You a lot. like the flavor? I do. Perfect. So it's very simple, right? And you use just one skillet. You did not have to use two. <laughs> okay, Don, we're going to you. Perfect. Thank you. Let us know what, how your um, potatoes turn out in a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Don? Hi. Let's see yours. Chet is already eating. He's been cheating. Oh, look at that. Hello. Mr. Hi, Mr. Walter is ready to have his dinner. Do you like it? Did you like, do you like the broccoli? Yes, everything's really good. And how it turned out? Perfect. 545, that's a record. That's awesome. Right? Mm -hmm. Done in yeah. 45 minutes. Faster than ordering it in a restaurant. It's even faster than driving to the restaurant, picking up the yeah, menu. It's faster, for real. And then Tawanda, finally, where are you at, lady? He's running a little behind. So. Yes, we're running a little bit behind. Yes. We've got the broccoli on, and we can show you the steak. We can show you the steak. Okay. Okay, yeah, perfect. Let's just look at the steak for now. Am I going to use this James H? Okay, hold on. Yes, that's that's what it is. Wait, I'm not yet spotlighted. There you go. Yoo-hoo! Look at that steak. Yeah, yeah. Are you excited to eat? Yum. That's like butter, then. Did you try it? Did you did yeah. it turn out good for you, Darren? Oh yes, very good steak. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. We are all set to have some really good dinner. Yeah. Honey, can you please do a gallery? Yes. Gallery. Yeah, gallery view. So here we go, everybody. Hold now on. it's everyone on the screen. How do you so do we that? can see view. Yes. Gallery. gallery. All there. Right. <laughs> it's all of us in one screen. Don, where did you go? <laughs> Don, there you go. Here we go. We want to say bye bye by showing all of us to everybody with our food. Darren, We're ready to turn eat. on the camera one time so we could do a screenshot. Come on, Darren. Where did you go? We want to do a screenshot with your food. Come on. Four screens. <laughs> there right. you go. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And on there Facebook, you go. See? if you watch this on replay, let us know how it turns out. I did. Yeah, go, go, go Niners. Go Niners. <laughs> I know the Niners. <laughs> Sorry. All right. See, uh, see you all next week. Hopefully, there's more of us cooking together. All right. Have a great night. Enjoy your dinner. Bye.